Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new series where I'll be taking you through a beginner's A to Z of radio control plane terminology. To start us off, A is for airfoil. The airfoil is the cross section shape of the wing, you can think of it as the shape of the wing rib. Airfoils come in many shapes and sizes but the most common you're likely to encounter are flat bottomed like this one here. They can be under cambered, they can be semi-symmetrical or symmetrical. Uh, these are chosen depending on the style of airplane and what the designer would like that airplane to do. So this is a typical flat bottom airfoil and you find this on most trainers. It's the airfoil shape itself that gives the lift to the aircraft. And here's how that works. As the air approaches the leading edge, it is split in two. One airflow moves over the top of the airfoil section and back to the trailing edge. The other airflow travels under the wing, rejoining at the trailing edge. Now as you can see, the air travelling over the wing has further to travel than the air travelling under the wing. This generates a pressure differential where you end up with low pressure on the top and high pressure on the bottom. So to help try and explain a bit more about that, if you've ever watched the weather forecast, you'll probably know that an area of low pressure here around Iceland and Greenland will have strong winds. Whereas an area of high pressure here around the British Isles will have nice calm weather and maybe the odd gentle breeze. So when the airflow is quite low, you get high pressure. And when the airflow is fast, you get low pressure. And it's similar for airfoil. We have low pressure because of fast moving air, and we've got high pressure because of slower moving air. And this pressure from the bottom pushes the wing up, and that generates lift. Another way of looking at this is that if you take a little strip of paper, about the length of your hand and the width of your thumb, and if you hold it, like that underneath your bottom lip and blow across the top you will find that the paper rises that's because you're generating low pressure on the top and the pressure differential forces the paper upwards i'll demonstrate And it's this pressure differential then that generates the lift on the body. So the faster the airflow moves, uh, the more lift you get. So your throttle, which controls the thrust and therefore the air moving over the wings, controls the amount of lift. So if you want to go higher, throttle up. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next in the series. Cheerio!